Hello guys, welcome to my first video. In this section, I will explain you about a computer networking simulation with a software called Packet Tracer. As you know, Packet Tracer is a simulation software. We can use this to make a simulation before we implemented the networking computer in the real world. Okay. First, um, I will introduce you about the computer networking itself. Okay, the computer networking is uh, to connect about two computer or more to can communicate each other with a file or some research. Okay, guys, uh, do you know the transmission media? In the nowadays. Um, the transmission media is only uh, just like a cable as you know um, actually we know the UTP cable with the RG45 connector but the problem is when we want to practice with them we must use the computer many computer exactly but in this era we don't need them again we just use the simulation yeah we just use need the simulation so we don't need uh, to buy a hub or a switch or router maybe because um, there are a simulation called the packet tracer so we just use that software to uh, simulate uh, networking we want to implement in the real world okay I think this is the introduction for the software uh, next I will explain you about uh, the interface for packet tracer and before I will explain the interface for the packet tracer uh, if you don't if you don't have a packet tracer, you can download the packet tracer first before we uh, can go to the next tutorial. Uh, I think you can look the link download in the description below. Okay, after you download, it, I will explain about the interface. Alright guys, I think uh, you have finished the download and install the packet tracer in your computer. Uh, next, I will introduce you to interface the uh, packet tracer. Okay, now we open the packet tracer. Okay, this is the interface of the packet tracer. As you know, in the corner, in the left corner side, there is a title bar, and then below the title bar, there are a toolbar, and below, I'm sorry, uh, I mean this is the menu bar, and then below the menu bar, there is a toolbar, like new, open, save, print, activity, and uh, etc okay in the right bar there are a toolbar for control the um, device in the worksheet this is the worksheet there are um, to select move layout place note delete inspect resize add simple PDU Add complex PDU, and then in the below, uh, first there are um, device or hardware. There are many, many kind like router, switch, hub, wireless device connection, and device one emulation, custom device, multi-user connection, 
and next to the device there are a uh, sub device sub device is um, kind of the device any type of device or oh, just when we click like this uh, we just switch there are show the type of any switch and next after the sub device there are a property window okay right. yeah there is a simple right there are um, start with toolbar menu bar toolbar worksheet um, and next uh, we, we want to choose this um, we want to look about the router in the router we just click this and then in the sub device there are show the some kind types of router as you know the router function is to connect some network with other network or uh, the different IP class or subnetting and what else as you know um, because if we use the hub or switch so the device or computer uh, can connect right all right the second one is a uh, switch we just click this and then the end device change to the types of switch as you know switch is used to connect many computer with a uh, port in, in in this body in the bodies of switch there are uh, many kind types of switch there are many kind port like 24 or 32 port um, usually we use with this the 2950-24 this is the switch with 24 port and then next the third one is um, end device let's we just click this click yeah there are many types of end device this is like a PC laptop server printer IP phone wipe device and etc as you know the end device is used to connect with the some computer networking um, and then next and the fourth I uh, will explain you about the cable this is the connection we just click and there are some types of cable the first one this is the automatically choose connection type uh, and then this is the console straight cross fiber phone coaxial serial DCE serial DTE okay guys uh, as you know to connect from one device to the other device or to the other hardware uh, the example for the computer with the computer or the computer with the switch we use uh, some cable to connect them okay the problem is uh, when the situation we use the spread cable and when the situation when we use the cross, ca cross cable okay if you confuse I will explain for you All right first is when you when we use the strike cable okay we use the strike cable if we want to connect the device in this in the dif uh, in the different layer uh, the example is when you want to connect the PC to hub we you must use the uh, strike cable right and then next if you want to connect the PC to switch to connect the router to hub to connect the router to switch you must connect them with the strike cable 
and then when we use the cross cable the cross cable we use when we want to connect the device in the same layer like um, computer to computer switch to hub switch to switch router to router router to PC and then for the router to PC we can use a uh, uh, roll, roll over cable the roll over cable is used to um, connect PC to router um, and then you use the roll over cable to config the router from the PC okay and then if you have the problem uh, and you cannot decide what cable what uh, I use to connect this device uh, don't don't panic and don't uh, confuse right this is there are uh, automatically choose connection type okay this cable I'm sorry uh, this is not cable but this is the fit the feature uh, to help user use this simulation of packet tester right if you confuse to decide what cable I must use to connect this device you must you just click this the, this is the automatically cable and this is the decide decide the cable what the cable uh, is can connect for the device that you confuse alright I think this enough for the introduction for interface uh, in next tutorial I will explain you about some practice about, um, about simulation networking I think um, okay I think that's enough see you in the next tutorial bye